Hi, this is Lucia with The Art of Love. I'm a dating and relationship expert specializing in helping you get your ex back or to get over your ex. This week, I wanna talk about the signs that your ex is testing you. Now, why would they be testing you? Well, there are three reasons, and I'll tell you those reasons along with the signs. But first, I want to welcome back my beautiful No Contact Army. If you are having trouble staying in no contact, then download my app Silencio. And if you're about to break no contact, just hit the panic button and you'll get a little surprise. And if you too would like to join the no contact army, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button and the bell notification and you're in. And to read our manual, go to nocontactsecrets.com where you can read two free chapters before purchasing the book. So that concludes this video portion. Stay tuned for the audio and I will see you next week. All right, let's talk about the 10 signs your ex is testing you. First, they break up with you and then they test you. How dare they? How dare they do that? But first, I have a short success story. Okay, she says, I did no contact and ignored the vague, subtle attempts. I entertained a conversation and made him work for his spot back in my life. He flew all the way from Asia to Europe to propose and now we're married. Honestly, in the back of your mind, you know not to contact or respond to BS from your ex, but Lucia does help navigate that gray area. Listen to her. Most importantly, work on yourself, date, and stop keeping tabs on your ex. Live a low profile life. That's when it really starts working. They just know when you're elevating without them. Yeah, girl, congratulations. And by the way, where was my wedding invitation? <laughs> okay, so your ex testing you. Why are they testing you? Well, there are three reasons. Number one is that their ego is hurt that you didn't contact them and they want to see if you're still interested, but they don't want you back. Sorry. They're losing power by you staying in no contact and they're trying to snatch it back by trying to get a reaction. The second reason is curiosity. It's self-explanatory. They're just curious to see if they're able to get a reaction out of you and what the reaction will be and what you've been doing and why you haven't been talking to them. And number three, yes, they are possibly considering getting back together and they want to see if they can even get you back. They want to be reassured that you still have some feelings for them. So when they start testing you is when the balance of power starts to shift because when they broke up with you, they had all the power in that moment especially because you're usually blindsided when someone breaks up with you and don't always have the best reaction. But now you've left them alone and they're coming to you and they obviously want something. Otherwise, why would they be contacting you, right? Okay, so let's find out what those tests are so that you can pass them with flying colors. And these are, as usual, in no particular order. Number one, they want your validation. Since you've been in no contact, now they're not so sure that they could get you back if they want to. But we are too smart for that. They ain't getting no validation from us anytime soon. You're not going to break up with someone from my no contact army and then come back and get validation. Get out of here. <laughs> so do not give it to them. Number two, they want to find out if you've moved on. They're going to assume you're seeing someone else and that's why you haven't reached out to them. Now, they may not ask you directly if you're seeing someone, but they'll ask about your weekend. And if you want to use the jealousy card, you can say, oh, I was hanging out with a friend or friends. And if they try to probe more and you don't want to answer, you can just say, well, someone's very curious. <laughs> and if they ask directly if you're seeing someone, the answer is going to depend on how long you were together. So if you were together for many years and you've only been broken up for a month or two, it's probably best to say that you're just taking some time out for yourself. Otherwise, they're going to assume that you're just looking for a rebound and they're, they won't be too worried. And plus, you shouldn't be dating that quickly anyways if you just got out of a very long relationship. But if you were dating, I would say less than a year, then you can just say, well, I'm dating, if you are dating. And keep in mind that information that I give in my videos is the one that will help the most number of people. So if you're not sure what to do in your situation, it's always best to book a coaching session because when people finally hear from their ex in most situations, if they don't know what they're doing, they're gonna blow it. And so you don't want to have done no contact perfectly and then mess up 
when you are in contact. So if you're not sure how to respond to that question or any of these tests, and you wanna be prepared, then book a coaching session. Okay, another reason they may be testing you is because they want to see if you're open to the idea of getting back together. And they're probably not gonna come right out and say it, so they'll say something like, well, what would you say if I said that I was thinking of getting back together? And you're gonna to pretend to be shocked. What? Like that possibility hadn't even entered your mind and you were just moving on with your life. So you'll say, oh, wow, uh, well, I, I, I don't know. I never considered that. Yeah, right. I'm gonna to have to think about it. You're not gonna just hand yourself over on a silver platter. They're gonna to have to do work, just like the girl in the no contact success story that I read earlier. And they're gonna to have to sweat as payback for the pain that you felt when they dumped you. Another reason um, or another test is jealousy. So they wanna see if you're going to react, especially if you've been a good little soldier and stayed in no contact. They don't wanna contact you, but you're hope, uh, they're hoping that you're gonna contact them by making you jealous. No, 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 remember our no contact army slogan, we do not react, we stay in no contact. And if they were really serious about someone, they probably wouldn't even be posting them anyway. Posting someone new, especially if the breakup wasn't that long ago, is usually a test. So do not fall for it. Test number five is that they wanna see if you've actually changed. So they may trigger you on purpose with something that they know you usually reacted badly to to see if you're gonna still behave in the same old way that's why you need to use the no contact time to work on yourself and your triggers or they want to see if you're still going to be needy and by staying in no contact they're going to start to suspect that you're not as needy as you used to be but don't blow it when they contact you and all of a sudden start acting needy again the difficult part is not proving that you've changed the difficult part comes from actually changing and what you've changed it'll be evident over time because people go, well, how can I show that I've changed? Well, it's gonna happen over time. It's not just gonna be a one-time thing. The next test is that they will give you a sex test, meaning <laughs> that they're gonna try to have sex with you and turn the relationship into a friend with, friend with benefits. And just know that you do not have to sleep with your ex to get them back, okay? If they wanna come back, they will come back without you having to have sex with them first. Test number seven is that they wanna see if you're gonna start pursuing them after they reach out once, especially if you were needy in the relationship. But now you are not behaving in the way they expected. So because of ego and pride, they do not wanna come right out and say that they want you back. So they'll reach out and if you respond, they'll have a conversation with you and then you won't hear from them again and they're hoping you're gonna start chasing. So this is why you have to stay strong and go back to no contact. You are not going to just let them sit back and enjoy the ride while you do all the work. No, no, no. <laughs> Number eight, they may ask you, are you happy? Well, that's a loaded question in any situation. And I would respond with, are you? <laughs> and depending on how open they're being, meaning if they're vulnerable and they tell you their true feelings, especially if they're not happy, then you can give the same level of openness. But if they don't say much, if they kind of skirt around the issue, or they try to get you to answer first, then you can say, well, no one is happy all the time, but for the most part, yes, I am. That's a very diplomatic way to answer that question without really answering it, right? <laughs> Number nine, liking your posts on social media. They are not doing it just for the hell of it or just because they like what you posted. They wanna see if you're gonna reach out, which will let them know that you are still interested in them in case they were having doubts. But of course, we do not react to those, right? Number 10, speaking of social media, another way they could be testing you is that instead of liking your posts, they begin posting certain things or certain people, again, to see if you're gonna react. Not necessarily jealousy things, but just things that they think that you'll react to. And for those of you that have made it to the end, guess what? I have a bonus one, yay, number 11. The final way they may be testing you is by not contacting you, even though they want to. They wanna see if you're gonna reach out to them at some point, but of course, you're not gonna contact them unless you cheated 
or took them for granted. So, you know, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if your ex is testing you. Your reaction is always going to be the same. Polite, friendly, non-reactive, indifferent. Let them figure out whether they still have a chance to get you back or not. And for God's sakes, do not say that you miss them or love them. Ew. And I've actually done a video on that called 10 Things Never to Say to Your Ex. And so, of course, I will put the link in the upper right-hand corner on YouTube. So to recap ways that your ex could be testing you or reasons why, uh, they want your validation. They want to see if you moved on. They want to see if you're open to getting back together. They want to get a reaction through jealousy. They want to see if you've changed. Um, they just want to have sex with you. They want to see if you're just going to, uh, if you're going to start pursuing them. They want to see if you're happy without them. Uh, they're going to like your posts to see if you're going to reach out to them. And they're going to try to get a reaction through posting different things on social media. And then of course the final one, they don't contact you to see what you're going to, you're going to do. <clears throat> so now I want to hear from you. Have you noticed your ex doing any of these things and what did they do? Let us know in the comments. And in the meantime, if you would like my help to get your ex back, contact me at theartoflove.net and we will send you the rates. The direct link is below every single video. And try not to use Gmail as your email. Contact us from another one because sometimes they do not let the emails through. They don't even put them in the spam folder. They just <laughs> annihilate them. So you never hear from us. We respond to every single email. So if you've contacted us and you haven't heard from us, it's not our fault. It's your Gmail. Okay. And if you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share. If you're listening to this as a podcast, please rate and review. And finally, remember, love inspires, empowers, uplifts, and enlightens.